And he's like, okay, well, uh, let's just be careful then. And he's like, all right. She was like, all right, fine. Mm-hmm. I'll be careful getting change. And then walked away. So it worked out for her. All right. Uh-huh. Yeah. We'll Did see. we not elicit any calls with this one today? Nobody, Maybe not. Maybe no one wants to admit that they got fired. But you could have witnessed it. You could have witnessed it. No, it doesn't matter. If it, hey, if it doesn't work, it's Friday. Why should we care anyway? It's not right. like we have to work today. We need to do an Ask Us Anything at some point. Yeah. ABC's uh, and me. That starts next week, actually. Let's, uh, let's, Kirby was actually calling before the, okay. the topic, so. That's fine. What's up, Kirby? What you calling about? I was going to say, uh, I used to work at Pizza Hut, and we had to fire one guy for having sex on the make-ready table. How long till a- after the, uh, And what sex? was he making ready on the <laughs> make-ready table? <laughs> one of the waitresses. <laughs> you had to fire him. Like, was he in management? No, I was, a. Uh, shift manager and it got left to me to get rid of him so no you, you player hater yeah you got mad because you were a manager when you weren't getting none and is this when the doors were open or was it before in the prep or after it like clean i don't know was, i don't know after, the terms it was after it was after hours after hours okay i still can't eat at double dave's pizza because we were driving by a double dave's one time i was with my girlfriend yeah. and she goes Oh, I had sex with my manager at that Double Days once, and I was like, Nah, I now I can no. never. Well, I don't that's know. That's not. Those I don't want pepperoni, wanna, rolls, pepperoni pretty... rolls. Not worth it. Not... I guess it's bad. Uh, raw on the table, like you could just. You got to throw some flour. Get some. No, no. <laughs> you throw some flour. You down have there. all that kale on the buffet table, and you can't like <laughs> lay no some. There's no kale out. at at a at a Pizza Hut. Yes, there is on the buffet table. They decorate. This you was, have kale. This was in '96. 96. Nobody, Kale hadn't been invented in tell 96. Him. Shift manager, <laughs> right. go ahead and tell him, shift manager. No. You had. I never even heard of Kale yeah. back then. They exactly. call it something else then. Yeah. Maybe they had a stack of those uh, checkerboard red and white. Uh, what do you call them? Paper inserts? No, not the paper inserts, tablecloths. Oh, yeah. Then, then Pizza Hut used That's to have. That's what you're supposed to have sex yeah. on is yeah. the tablecloth. Yeah. yeah, you stack a few of those, make a little pallet. Did they get Do that? Yeah, because there's all, all us Pizza Huts back then used to have jukeboxes. Did they at least put some music on the? Ju- how did you find yeah, I out thought they that had they had benches out in the in the in the actual restaurant? Yeah, how part? did you find out that they had sex after hours? Did you guys have cameras or something? No, we might have been up there partying and uh, <laughs> oh, doing nice. a cleanup. Okay, that means like, doing a cleanup. So you guys were doing morning. cocaine. Oh, yeah, of course. It was 90s. Yeah, it was the 90s and you were in food service. So you guys were doing cocaine. Nobody got in of trouble course. for doing coke after hours in the walk-in. Right. You guys got mad because somebody had sex. You're a player so hater. What hap- no, what happened in the, uh, uh, you know, at the tables, nobody got in trouble for it, But that's where you make the food. They said no to that. <laughs> that's all they were doing was oh, making, all, making bacon. Yeah, they didn't want to get a health yeah. code violation. Uh, what it came down to is yeah. nobody wanted to have to wash one of the tables. <sighs> Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, wipe it down with that blue water. All right. All right. Thanks, man. Thanks, Thanks Kirby. Oh, oh, sorry. He was sorry, about to say Kirby. something else, and we, you just hung up on poor old Kirby. Good too. Let's go to Caden. What's up, Caden? Oh, yeah. Of course. This is Manny. Hey, fake Manny. <laughs> yeah, I had to fire my, myself because I stole from the Army-Navy store. Orale. <laughs> Orale. 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 They do be stealing at the Army-Navy store. But he sets himself up. There's so many blind spots. I know. Some of those mirrors up or something. I know. Yeah. Poor Manny. We haven't heard from him in a while. I'm, I'm worried, worried about, him. about him. He said somebody stole, you know, somebody stole his truck. They managed to get it back. No. No. The story behind that was he, he it left was, it. It was towed somewhere. Yeah. And he he left know. it and it got towed. I know. But I'm just still saying he managed oh, to get sorry, it back. Manny. Anyway. Yeah. And then we haven't heard from him since. He huh? might still be recovering. All right. Sorry for, a, sorry, sorry for a DS phone topic. It's not. No, I take full responsibility. I'm not going to come in on Monday. It's happened. I'm going to suspend myself uh, Monday and not come in as punishment. Okay. I don't think I've ever witnessed an angry firing when someone's just like, you're out of here. I thought it once at the Irwin Center. I'm very young. My first, one of my, probably my second job, second professional gig. Mm-hmm. It was a show, and I remember this day like it was yesterday. And I, I got in a fight with the truck, one of the truck drivers from the Alabama show. Yeah. The Alabama band, you know, the band yeah. Alabama. Play me some mountain music, like Grandma and I got Grandpa into used some to play. kind of fracas backstage about something because I was trying to move some people to the, to the meet and greet, and I don't know what happened exactly, 
But I got called, and I was young, man. I was a young pup, and I got called into the director's office at the Irwin Center. And I'd never been yelled at in my life. I had never been yelled at. And Dean Justice sat me down in this big... Or they, it later became Jimmy Earl's. You remember Jimmy Earl? Later Jimmy became Earl. Later became his office when he became the director. But it had this burnt orange, fake Naga hide Sofa. sectional couch yeah. in his office. And the minute you... I don't know how old it was, but the minute you sat in it, you sank another six inches. Right. So I was about... My head was like that high off the ground. They did that on This purpose. guy was looming over me and just screaming in, at me. Just screaming. And I started to tear up a little bit. I'd never been yelled at like that in my life. Like, we don't do that, blah, blah, blah. You just got to take it. They're the, they're the performers. and you, You'll never be a performer, so you'll never know. Damn. And, you know, and uh, I thought for sure I was done. I thought for sure. I was ready to just go get my... I didn't even know what possessions I might have had at my desk down in the basement, but I thought, this is it. I'm getting fired on a show night. Yeah, we met. We patched it up. Who? You and you and Dean Justice or you and the Alabama hand? No, that guy. Yeah. I don't I don't think that, that guy. He was having a bad day. Was he a driver? Yeah. So he was a teamster? Yeah. I would never, ever raise my voice to And a I can't remember what the thing I think we were trying to pass through someplace that he was going and we got in, you know. I picked I don't up know. on it very quickly. The first film shoot I was ever on, I picked up very quickly that you don't mess with the, no. the Teamster dudes. No. The guys that had the Jenny trucks, the guys with the honey wagons, all that. They were very nice, but they got each other's backs and you don't mess with I them. I remember the guy telling me he was going to take a tire chain to me. Like, I don't, and I told Dean that. He goes, I don't care. Blah, blah, blah. Get out of here. It's the South. He doesn't even have tire chains. <laughs> we got one more? Uh, kind of. Never mind. Oh, I know what you mean. We haven't had him on in... The whole week. A week and a half. So let's see how Connor's going to end this segment and bring it to a halt. Emphasis on end. Connor. So I want to to get fired after they almost got into a fist fight at work. Okay. We're, we're on to something right. here. What happened? Why did they fight? So, well, it almost got to a fight, but the guy he was going to fight was, just was a big pousse and uh, tried to back away from it. Now, it originally started because the guy who got fired. And what kind of business is this? A warehouse? What? What are we talking about? Oh, yeah. It was a metal fab shop. It's going to have a business. Metal business. fab. Okay. okay. Fabulous. Bending sure. a lot of steel. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And so he was going to get in a fight because he didn't like the way uh, the other guy was uh, throwing stuff at me, like nuts and bolts. So there was a guy throwing stuff Absolutely. at you, and then another guy came to your defense? Well, yeah, the guy always, like, actually, like, he was always, like, a, he at work, uh, or just, we were friends, and he was always kind of like a, so saw himself as, like, an older brother, I I'm guess. I'm sorry, I I'm sorry. So he got defensive. I started believing the story, but now it's gone into unbelievable stuff where yeah. you have friends at work, and I yeah, am that's, now that's checking too out much of, of a leap for us yeah, to take right now. We appreciate it, Connor. It was a good attempt, good. but we know that you've made this up. You get points for style, but it just didn't. Uh, you didn't stick you, the landing. All right. I mean, the part where somebody would throw nuts and bolts at you. I'm not only believing, but I'm on that guy's side 100. percent We all want to throw nuts and bolts at you. <laughs> yeah. Was he throwing him hard, like w winging him, like trying to hurt you? No, he was just like binging him off of me because, you know, we had to work on the same job together and he was just right there. And But I was letting him get away with it because, like, this guy's literally quitting this day anyway. So Yeah, just, and in his defense, he may have been throwing the nuts and bolts anywhere. It's just that your size, it's hard to miss you. All okay. Right. All okay. right. Thank you. There it is. Thank you very Thank you, much, Connor. Connor. We appreciate it. It's been a long time, ladies and gentlemen. Week and a half off, and uh, it was worth it. We'll hear you next month.